this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Lee Bear. Good world, easy. <laughs> you nearly knocked me off my feet there. Calm down, Lee Bear. I know you're very excited, but there's no reason to charge around like a mad bear all the time. <laughs> anyway, I'm not only going to be joined by Lee Bear, I am also going to be joined by... Where is she? There she is on the balcony, Squishy. Good morning, Squishy. Come on, I told you to share. Come on, Esther. If Squishy wants to jump on your cake, she can jump on it a little bit, okay? No point getting all your feathers rustled up. Your feathers? <laughs> your, your feathers rustled up. <laughs> You're allowed to jump in it all day long and Squishy only gets to do it every now and then, so <laughs> let, her, let her have a little bit of a go. Anyway, uh, I want to have a go eating my breakfast, uh, so uh, Lee Bear, if you wouldn't mind just to uh, Placing it on the, the fourth bed. Actually, I'm not hungry enough to eat the entire thing. Let's just go and... <laughs> if I do a few laps around the uh, uh, the bedroom... There we go. I'm now hungry enough. I can eat the entire thing down in one. Nom, 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 ah, Absolutely delicious. And I'm going to need that energy uh, in a little bit uh, for the uh, the race to the, the doghouse. We're having a, a little bit more of a, an elaborate race to the, the doghouse today, which I'm uh, definitely looking forward to doing. Uh, but I'm also looking forward to adding uh, someone to my love garden. And uh, that person I'm adding is Robert Mason. And I'm adding Robert because he got this cake uh, for his sixth birthday and it is massive. Have you ever seen a Stampy Cat cake that big? I certainly haven't. <laughs> and it looks really tasty as well. So I wanted to say uh, a very happy birthday, uh, Robert. Uh, a very late happy birthday. <laughs> and uh, welcome to my love garden. Right then, Lee, are you ready for the get dressed race? Okay, the way this works is you hold an egg. No, sorry, you don't hold an egg. Let's put that away. <laughs> what we need to do is that we're going to start top about here and there are item frames uh, with uh, different items of clothing in uh, from here to the doghouse and uh, you need to wear all of the uh, the green uh, clothes and I need to wear all of the the orange clothes so uh, first things first Lee Bear um, I won't watch you but oh whoa. <laughs> uh, you didn't need me to tell you Tice just whip them straight off didn't you right let's go and uh, take off my stampy style boots as well and uh, yeah we are now ready uh, to, to begin the the get dressed race so I guess I need to be on this side and you be on that side and we can begin in in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Well, let's go and try and get these uh, these boots. Oh no, I, bro I broke the I broke the rows. Oh, I was really slow. I was really slow. I got to put the boots on, and there we go. I got to jump through the the rows, and then the uh, the next clothes uh, should be round the corner here. Here we go. Here are the the leggings. Let's put these on as quick as I can. And oh, I'm being really slow. Lee Bear is ahead of me. Oh, there we go. He had to open the the gate though, and uh, that slowed him down a, a little bit. Uh, he's still ahead of me. Well, let's try and put this one on as fast as I can. There we go. That was much better. But Lee Bear is still well ahead of me. We're on to the, the final bits of uh, clothing. Oh, I got it. I got I got Lee Bear's helmet. Let me just go and uh, place the, the helmet down there in the, the water. And oh, he's got mine. Right, Lee. No, no, no. We can do this diplomatically. We can do this diplomatically. We can share them out. Oh, he's dropped mine here. <laughs> I'm going to put this one on. Oh, I thought Squashy was going for it then. And uh, I've put it on. Oh, but Lee Bear's got his as well. I just got to get inside of the, the doghouse now. And I am just about in. <laughs> Only a second ahead. That was, um, that was a little bit exciting. To be fair, I was a little bit cheeky, wasn't I, Lieber? I was a little bit cheeky throwing your, your helmet into the, the water. But then again, you did do the same with me. You did go and throw mine down on the, the floor. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, I guess we're, we're kind of all winners because, uh, yeah, we just uh, get a dog to, to join us. And uh, today, uh, let's have let's have Sherbet joining us uh, today. And uh, where is Sherbet? Are you on top of here? Yes, uh, you are, Sherbet. Uh, if I go and stand you up, uh, you can be the, uh, the dog that is going to be joining us in uh, today's episode and we better get a move on as well because we have a lot uh, to build today and I mean a lot and uh, we did uh, a lot of work outside of the episode uh, as well and Lee Bed, no no stay away from the cake no <laughs> that's that's dangerous cake sure but that's not a cake you want to dance on oh no we're gonna have to clean your paws off later because you've got sleeping potion all over them uh, but anyway yeah look at that look at the the size of that tower I told you uh, that it was going to be big <laughs> we probably built it up to about there in the last episode and since then uh, since then we went do -do 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 all the way up to the the top and I think it looks great 
The idea of the uh, the tower uh, was always uh, just to draw the uh, the people's eyes up the tower uh, so they'd look to the the top. So I know it's all uh, a little bit grey at the moment, uh, but don't worry. Uh, the uh, the top of the tower is going to be a lot more uh, patterny and a lot more colourful, and uh, that is what we are uh, going to to be building to today. So the uh, the first thing to do is uh, to get up to the uh, up to the top, and this might take uh, a little while because yep, <laughs> we basically have one very very long ladder. Uh, leading the entire way up to the the top but the good thing is uh, even though it's going to take a really long time uh, to get to the the top of the tower getting down is much quicker because as the uh, the tower's right next to the the water uh, yeah the quick way down is to, to just jump straight off and I'm sure <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing that at some point and hello guys sorry I know I'm being slow I know I'm being really slow making my my way up here I'm sorry and I have arrived right this is um this is a little bit scary. We are very high up right now. And oh no, oh no, Sherbet, 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 careful. Okay, okay, build, build some floor around Sherbet, please, as quick as you can, Lee. Build some floor around Sherbet. We need to get Sherbet uh, to, to sit down. Everyone be very careful. Right, the second Sherbet moves. There we go. Sherbet is now sitting down. Right, build as much floor uh, around Sherbet uh, as you can. Uh, and then hopefully uh, he's going to, to be safe. There we go. There's a little bit of a, a panic there. <laughs> anyway, let me go and try and jump to the, the outside. Actually, I don't need to because there's ground now. And let me show you the view. Doesn't this look amazing? Isn't this so cool seeing the, the world this high up? And this isn't even the, the top yet. We still have another 52 blocks uh, to, to build up uh, with the uh, the clock face. So we are going even higher. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go and get started then. So most uh, clock faces uh, normally uh, have the uh, the clocks on all four sides. Uh, yeah, most clock towers. Uh, so you can see them uh, no matter what direction you look at it. Uh, I'm doing things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to have the, the clock face facing that way and uh, the other sides uh, are just going to, to be cool looking patterns and uh, the main reason for that is so that the the walls on the the inside uh, looks uh, a little bit better uh, for the uh, the tea shop and also I just kind of liked the uh, the design that I came up with and uh, so yeah I wanted it to be a, a little bit different and uh, also another reason uh, was because we're going to have windows uh, because this is going to uh, to be a, a cafe it would seem silly to have it this high up and uh, not have uh, any windows uh, so you can't see the uh, the amazing view so I wanted to uh, yeah to, to have some windows uh, just so you can actually admire uh, how high up you are and uh, how pretty it looks right then so uh, yeah I'm gonna start building now uh, the design uh, is uh, is kind of funky actually it's basically mainly dark gray wool uh, but then there are some some kind of twiddly twirly bits <laughs> with the uh, the yellow wall that you can see that I have with me as well and I think uh, having the the dark grey uh, and then the uh, the colourful yellow uh, really uh, helps make it stand out so uh, this is basically the the windowsill I'm building now so there's going to be uh, these uh, slabs here and then on top of here is going to to be the windows because this is where the the floor is going to be and then this is where the the seats are going to be so you can kind of look out the the window uh, there's not much of a view from here to be fair though you've got to kind of jump up and down a little bit to <laughs> actually see anything uh, but but don't worry, uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, this uh, ladder is going to eventually continue going uh, even higher. Uh, so then that means uh, that you can go to the... Um uh, yeah, to the the very very top of the the tower and uh, see uh, the the view from up there, which will hopefully uh, be quite spectacular. All right then, though, let's just go and uh, carry on uh, building this design here. Actually, I've done this uh, not far enough. Uh, this should go all the way to the the end there, and then this goes in here, and then I have one more bit of glass to to there. Uh, let me just go and make sure I did the the same on the the other side uh, like this. So this should go to to here, then that's like that, and then this goes uh, like that just like here. So as I said, this is where the actual clock tower is going to be on this side. Uh, the actual clock face, sorry. And I am going to get to, to building that in one second. Uh, but first, I'm going to go and do uh, my funky twirly design <laughs> uh, that I told you about uh, a second ago and uh, do it on this side over here. So I've got my uh, very bright yellow wool here. It should stand out. And I'm going to put my uh, stampy style boots back on as well, just because I feel weird not wearing them. And uh, yeah, let's go and start the design. So it's basically uh, going to be a little bit uh, like, a, like a spiral. So this bit's uh, going to go along here. Uh, on top of the the glass uh, until about uh, here and I'm then gonna go up uh, one two three four five and I'm then gonna go along uh, so I'm almost as far as when I started but not quite as far and then I'm gonna go back down and then make it so it kind of twiddles round and meets in the the middle so it now uh, needs uh, to go down uh, about uh, here like this and uh, then this is going to, to almost make it meet up there, but not quite. And it now needs to start going back across. So if I go and uh, do that like that, and then go back along this way 
uh, to about here. It then just needs to go up uh, a little bit more, uh, and then that's going to be the, the spiral complete. And so then I need to do that on the, the other side. Actually, no, this one goes to uh, here, actually. And then if I break that away, uh, yeah, then I basically need to do that on the, the other side and then fill it all in uh, with this uh, dark grey wall. And then the uh, the top half of this building uh, is basically the, the same pattern, uh, but reverse. So it's kind of a bit like, uh, like a mirror. So it's sort of like four-way symmetrical, if that makes sense. So basically, uh, yeah, the, the top of this uh, of this uh, room, uh, of this wall, sorry, is going to look exactly the same as the, as the bottom half. So let's just go down here a little bit. And then that way I can go and uh, carry on uh, filling all of this in with this uh, this dark grey wall. I can go along here and start filling uh, in this side as well and uh, fill in uh, all the way down here. This all needs to be this uh, this same uh, dark grey wall. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit hard to see now because uh, it is starting to get a bit darker. Uh, but from uh, downstairs, uh, it should really make this pattern stand out. Having this uh, really dark grey wall and then the uh, the very bright and uh, colourful uh, yellow wall uh, should make the uh, the yellow wall really stand out. So in the, the middle pillar, here. Uh, this is going to be dark grey wall as well. And then we're actually uh, going to have uh, one piece of a uh, glowstone in the in the very middle here. So if I go and uh, place down this glowstone here like this, uh, this should help light it up. So if I go and jump down now, I can go and uh, have a little look up at what I built and uh, see whether it actually looks uh, any good. Uh, that looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> see what I mean? It's quite a, a cool funky pattern. So I wanted uh, to do this uh, rather than having uh, it all the, uh, the same kind of clock faces. Uh, so let's just go and uh, add some torches around the the place now because uh, it is getting a little bit dark actually tell you what how about we we go to bed how about we all jump off the uh, the tower and then we can all go to, to bed downstairs and uh, then make our way back up and the, the main reason I want to do that is just because I want to go and jump off the uh, off the tower <laughs> right so where's the the water the water's on this side it's very important to, to make sure of that and uh, should we all go and uh, jump at the the same time uh, do you guys want to jump from the the top up there right everyone get ready because I'm gonna go and do a countdown we all gotta go and jump off the edge in five Four, three, two, one, Geronimo, and jump, and there goes Lee Bear charging into the water. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. It's such a big drop, and oh, whoop, we've got falling ducks. We've got falling ducks from the, the sky. <laughs> right, we still have the uh, the beds down here, as so we can have a, a quick nap on them, and uh, then we can go and make our way back up to the, uh, uh, back up to the, the top. Uh, what I might actually do now is uh, go and uh, just start doing some work on the, the actual clock face because uh, Lee Bear and Squishy, uh, they can kind of see what I've done and if they basically copy that on all four quarters, uh, then that way uh, they can just sort of carry on doing what, what I was doing and I can go and do the, the actual clock face and uh, show you what that's going to look like. Uh, but what I guess I can do is give you a, a little bit of a, a preview of kind of what it is going to look like. And oh, first we need to, to go and deal with a, a couple googlies hiding down here on SOS Island. There we go. <laughs> and if I go and jump down here, uh, you can kind of see... Uh, what it's going to look like. It's a little bit hard from this angle and it's not uh, completed yet, but hopefully it'll give you a, a little bit of a, a good idea of what it's going to be like. Uh, but yeah, and now I just need to go and uh, climb back up to the uh, the top and I can carry on building. So uh, the actual clock face uh, is going to be made out of uh, never quartz. Uh, hello, Lee Bear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we're going to have the uh, the black wall that's going to be the actual hands of the clock. Uh, of course, the clock isn't going to work. It's always going to be saying the, the same time. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much I can do about that. And uh, yeah, and then it's going to have a uh, a gold rim around the outside uh, which actually isn't going to be a gold ring uh, it's going to be a, uh, a yellow ring uh, but <laughs> yeah I don't have enough gold uh, to, to put this much down but this should look cool uh, this should look uh, pretty awesome so uh, yes yeah, Squashy and uh, Lee Bear if you go carry on doing the other uh, design I was doing and uh, try and get that side finished I'm going to go and grab uh, a little bit more of this uh, this wall and uh, these blocks here and I'm going to go and do on uh, start doing this side so uh, the reason I wanted uh, this side uh, to be where the uh, the clock face is going to be is because this is basically the side that faces where everything is like this is where my house is and uh, all of the the rest of the town uh, it just seemed uh, to make sense to, to have it on uh, on this side here so I guess the the first thing I can do is to do the the ring uh, around the the outside of the uh, the clock so uh, I need to find the the very middle so if I kind of just line it up with the, the chest here and sorry Sherbet sorry for making you sit down the entire video but I don't want you running around up here we are very very high up I have learned my lesson <laughs> from, from past experience. Uh, right, so we basically now just need to try and do a, a very big circle. So uh, this needs to go here like this. 
and then if I build up here, this one's going to go up like this. Actually, I'll tell you what, I think if we just build it layer by layer up, uh, is going to be the, the easier way to, to do this. So uh, in the, the corners, uh, we're going to be using these uh, stone slabs again, and uh, basically building kind of like a kind of like a little staircase, I guess, is the, the best way to describe it. Uh, if I go and uh, place these down, uh, hopefully this is going to make sense uh, a little bit more in a, in a second. So I need to go uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, five here. And then I basically just do like a little staircase up here like this. And so these are basically going to be marking uh, like around the, the edge of where the actual clock's going to be. So let's build this one up here as well. And uh, then this one up here a little bit uh, to there. And then in the very middle of this area, I'm going to do a, another little bit of a glowstone, uh, which is going to be lighting up the, uh, the corner. So I've got a bit more glowstone here. I can go and plop that down there like that. And then around the uh, the edge of this staircase is just going to be this uh, dark grey wall, uh, which is going to go up here uh, like this. Uh, so I guess now I can go and do the, the same on this side. So uh, I need to, to get rid of this dark grey wall here, actually. This isn't supposed to be here. And I can do my little staircase. So it was five along, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. And then uh, this one needs to go here if I go along here like this. And then once again, uh, just do my little staircase up. And then just like this side, it's going to be symmetrical, horizontally and vertically meaning that these little staircases are basically going to be upside down uh, on the the top of the the clock uh, as well as uh, as well as here and have I done this right uh, I think I have I think I just need to go a little bit higher on this side here and then do it there like that and then I can go and add my extra little bit of glowstone uh, down here as well uh, just like that right now let's go and uh, try and carry on doing it a little bit more of the actual clock face then so it goes uh, three along there and then this one uh, needs to, to go two along. And uh, then it basically just goes following up this staircase. We go one, two, three. And it now goes two up here. And I'm just going to place down the... I guess I can start placing down the, the quartz. Because that's what's going to be in the, the middle. Uh, so it then goes uh, uh, two up. Uh, so it's just gone two up here. So yeah, now it needs to go uh, three up uh, again here. Uh, basically to, to continue the, the pattern uh, on that side. Uh, so now I can go and start filling all of this in uh, with the, the never quartz. So this is going to be the actual uh, the, the actual face of the, the clock. And oh, I need to go and uh, carry on my pattern on this side. So what have I done so far? So it's gone up two. Uh, which means I now need uh, uh, to make it staircase. Uh, so let me go and... Uh, add in my dark grey wool first will make this easier and so I need to go one two three and then it needs to go uh, up again here by three is this right I don't know if I've done this uh, symmetrical hopefully I have done it exactly in the the middle I think that side is definitely right and oh this side's wrong though this one's supposed to go two along uh, and then three up ah aha. okay I see how I've done it wrong though uh, let me just go make a little staircase so I can go up so it goes one two three and then this one's supposed to go up by two here and then this one uh, it's supposed to go uh, up by three here, which means if I place that one down and then get rid of the uh, the bottom one, actually we we'll just leave it for now because it doesn't matter too much. We can sort that out uh, at the at the the end. I'm gonna have a, a little bit to, to eat quickly uh, just because I'm getting a, a little bit hungry and uh, I want to keep my hearts up just in case I fall down. <laughs> I don't want to lose too many of them. And uh, yeah, now I can go and carry on uh, filling in the the inside of the the clock face. Now we've kind of done the the outside. I can just place these down uh, as fast as I can uh, to fill it all in, and then we basically, as I said, just need to repeat the the pattern uh, at the uh, the top uh, to do it in reverse and then add in the actual hands and uh, I'm not sure what time I'm going to set the the clock to, to be it doesn't really matter as I said like I'm not going to be coming up here and updating it every time <laughs> like an hour goes past but uh, yeah good to, to pick a, a time that looks good really is uh, all that that matters and the whole point of this thing is just to is just to look cool it's just a cool place uh, to have a clock shop uh, as well as a, uh, a tea shop uh, as well at the uh, the very top here and just the views as well I really wanted uh, to build something really cool uh, just so it stands out when you look at it uh, but also just as a, a really good place uh, to be able to look over all of my uh, my lovely world because I don't really have anything uh, that tall to be honest the only other thing uh, that is taller than this is uh, the raindrops ride and that's in my uh, in my fun land and you only ever see the the view for a few seconds uh, before plummeting to the uh, the floor inside of a, a raindrop so <laughs> it's not really a, a good place uh, to look around and uh, admire the the view and speaking of admiring I've just seen what me uh, what my mind Minecraft helpers have been doing. Looks like they're doing uh, some really good progress, uh, finishing off the uh, the other few sides uh, as well. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do now, uh, because we are running out of time a little bit, I'm going to speed up the the video uh, until I've uh, finished off uh, most of this uh, clock face. Uh, then that way, uh, in this video, we're going to see uh, what it's going to look like uh, completed. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in just one second.
Okay, it took quite a while, but I have almost uh, finished off doing the, the clock face. So I got a little bit confused with, uh, yeah, basically the, the frame was the, the wrong height. And yeah, I got everything slightly off by one, which is why <laughs> it took a, a really long time. Pretty much a, another full day. Uh, but I'm just about uh, to put in the, the final uh, few blocks here. So if I go and add in the uh, the glowstone here. And uh, yeah, I've not looked at this properly yet. So <laughs> I'm going to go and climb down and uh, see what it looks like. And uh, see whether it looks like a, a perfect circle which is what it should look like and then the only other thing I need to do is as I said uh, add in the the actual hands of the the clock there we go that's looking that's looking pretty cool though if I do say so myself not uh, bad at all right then though now it's time for the um the difficult part I need to, to go and climb around uh, the outside of the the clock and try and add in the the hand so <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to, to build around I just use this uh, gray wool for now because it's pretty much uh, all I've got uh, on me what I got plenty of if I go around uh, to here and yeah I can go and add it on there we go it looks cool doesn't it like even without the the hand it's uh, not looking too bad it doesn't look like a clock yet at the moment it looks like a big white circle in the sky <laughs> uh, but yeah once I add, uh, add the actual hands in and make it look like a, a real clock uh, then yeah this is going to be the front of it done and then all we need to do is finish off the uh, the side walls and then this is going to be this part done so if I go and uh, climb up here I need to work out the exact middle which I think should be uh, about here uh, so now I've got my black wall and I'm just going to do it actually 3D uh, so it's uh, poking uh, out a little bit and uh, let's go and do it so let's make it so it's nine o'clock shall we uh, so if I go and do this can be the the long hand as if I do it up to about here uh, like that and then the shorthand uh, can go out to about here I think and oop <laughs> making an absolute mess of myself here there we go I've now finished the uh, the clock I do need to, to get uh, do need to get down from here safely though so let's try and carefully break this away without breaking away too many I think I'm going to stand on the other side here <laughs> and uh, yeah then I can go down and uh, have a look at uh, what it looks like uh, from down below because that's what really matters and uh, the cool thing as well is that from the the inside uh, it's going to to look uh, pretty cool as well because uh, you're going to go and get the the same pattern so I'm actually uh, going to, to add the the hands in uh, on the the inside of the the clock as well uh, so then that way when you're eating your uh, eating your tea <laughs> drinking your your tea uh, inside of here uh, it looks like you are inside of a massive clock which which is fair because because you are <laughs> well, let's go and uh, break these away and uh, yeah I can go down and look at it from the outside and whoa it looks like a uh, squash and Lee bear have been very busy as well uh, while I have uh, been building so uh, should we all uh, have a bit of a, a break now uh, go downstairs and uh, see what it looks like uh, from from down below um, right it's gonna be more difficult to jump into the the water now can we kind of get around the side oh this is gonna be a little bit dangerous I think oh Lee Bear's gone for it Lee Bear's gone straight down did he make it oh Lee Bear did right that's uh quite reassuring I need to make sure I get a good jump there we go oh it's just about far enough is it yes <laughs> there we go I landed safely uh, inside of the uh, the water squishy are you gonna come down and join us you gotta kind of jump around the the corner it's a uh, it's a little bit dangerous but we did it whoa oh I think she I think she ended up into the the water <laughs> and she was able to get in safely oh hello hello slime what are you doing here <laughs> right then let's go and uh, see what the uh, the clock's gonna look like and oh here's the uh, all of the the gray wool I was dropping I might as well uh, go and gather that up as well I'm gonna go uh, far away over here and then I can go and uh, turn around and uh, have the the big reveal oh look there's googlies all over the place though ah they're all coming from from googly island that's the the problem let's go and uh, try and take out all of these uh, googlies if we can uh, there's another creeper hiding down there and I don't feel safe uh, looking up at the the clock tower uh, while the the creeper's still lurking around so let's go and uh, try and take him out and then I can go and spin around and uh, have the the reveal of what the uh, the clock tower is going to, to look like finished I'm really excited about this because I've no idea uh, what it's gonna look like uh, this big and uh, from this far away so there we go let's go and uh, take out this creeper with a, a few little arrows and uh, now I can turn around and reveal what my clock tower looks like Ta da Whoa! That looks absolutely awesome. Look at the size of that thing. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> like, look at it compared to, like, my house. That's my, my house there, which is that tall. And then look at that clock tower. It looks really cool, though. I think the, uh, yeah, the, the clock effect looks really good. And if I go a little bit more to the, the side down here, uh, then we'll be able to see the, uh, the pattern on the, uh, the side of the, the clock as well and uh, see what that looks like uh, when it's so, uh, so big and high up. When you're building it really close, it's kind of harder to judge uh, what it's actually going to, to look like. And I think that looks really awesome. I think I might make it uh, so some of the, uh, the yellow outer ring uh, is kind of 3D and poking out a bit. I think might make it look even cooler. And uh, I'm also uh, going to build like a, a tower 
uh, on the uh, the top of the, the clock. So it basically uh, goes up to a, a point, because at the moment it looks a, a little bit flat. But you know what? I am rather proud of what we were able to, to, to build today. So I want to say a big thank you to both my Minecraft helpers uh, for joining me and uh, helping us build this monstrosity <laughs> in my lovely world. And I want to say a very big thank you, as always, uh, to all of you for watching. There'll be a link in the description to the next episode of My Lovely World, which will be online soon. But for now, I want to thank you once again for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!